Welcome back, everybody, to another cryptocurrency news article. This one comes out of Cointelegraph, and it's 11 things the United States can learn from other nations' crypto regulations. Now, we say the U.S. is lagging behind all these other countries, but the United States doesn't have to start from scratch when it comes to developing effective laws and guidelines for crypto. We have so many other countries that have already fully adopted it, put their guidance in, so they have a... They have like a white paper actually kind of look at to see like, okay, what do we want to do? How do we do it? But they, they just got to start. <laughs> but here we go. While the U.S. has long been known as a center of innovation and new technology, the nation's regulatory bodies don't seem to know quite what to make of the crypto industry. The U.S. is lagging behind countries in Europe and Asia in establishing crypto regulations. And it's not because the industry is broadly resistant. Indeed, crypto insiders would welcome and are asking for clear and consistent guidelines, so they're asking for it. But still, one of the benefits of being late to the party is being able to learn from what's working in other regions that have forged ahead. Now below, 11 members of Cointelegraph's Innovation Circle discuss a few of the most important things U.S. regulators can learn from actions taken in other countries as they begin to establish laws and guidelines for crypto. So the first one is to accept cryptocurrencies as a genuine good. This is by Myrtle Ann Ramos from Block Tides. The regulatory moves in the crypto fields in Indonesia and Turkey should serve as a lesson for U.S. regulators. Innovation and investors' safety are promoted by other countries' acceptance of cryptocurrencies as a genuine good when they are clear regulations and consumer protection. The goal is to take balanced strategy while focusing on adoption for the digital economy. So yeah, just accept it. Cryptocurrencies are a genuine good. Like, don't see it as the bad guy or keep calling it like, oh, these are uh, professional tax evaders. Like, see crypto as a genuine good. Another thing to consider is a sandbox approach. This is from Maxim Ilyashenko from My NFT Wars, the Rift Wardens. But U.S. regulators can learn from the sandbox approach seen overseas, particularly in the United Kingdom and Singapore. Sandboxes let firms test innovative fintech and blockchain products live, but with regulatory leniency. This model fuels innovation while guiding future regulations, striking a balance between growth and stability. So yeah, uh, just you know, learn from that way. And then we got a uh, focus on disseminating, uh, disseminating information. This is by Jagdeep Sidhu from Syscoin Foundation. Now ask yourself why the Securities and Exchange Commission was even created in the first place. It was done in the 1930s pre-internet as an information resource and resource mechanism to counter bad actors raising capital for scans. Today, some jurisdictions are correctly focusing on information dissemination around potential sales of new tokens and projects to lessen risk and create investor protections. So yeah, focus on like, don't just blank, I consider every single token a security, but at least uh, start really focusing on like a, what is uh, like the fakers out there who are just building a scam. So yeah, that's one way to do it. And then there's also recognize crypto as a different asset class. This is from Nitin Kumar from Zblocks. The older rules were made for the functioning of old economy assets and they impede innovation and the growth of the new economy. Now recognize crypto as a different asset class and set new regulations, guidance, and clarif clarification to help innovation and invention thrive. Technology can be reinvented. It needs to be understood well and an environment to prosper must be created. So yeah, except it's a new asset class. It's, you can't try to tie old rules and laws to this new one because it doesn't relate to them. They're not the same thing anymore. So you got to see it as a new uh, category. And now adopt a balance and innovation friendly approach. That's by Benada Rathi from Sistango. U.S. regulators can learn from the U.K.'s Web3 regulatory actions by adopting a balanced and innovation-friendly approach. The U.K.'s framework, highlighted by the Financial Conduct Authority Regulator Sandbox Program, promotes experimentation, consumer protection, and oversight by fostering an environment that supports startups and emerging technologies. Now, U.S. regulators can promote innovation and address risks in the Web3 ecosystem, but yeah, I look for friendly approaches to it. And then also develop a transparent set of rules. That's what we really need right now. That's written, this is by Wolfgang Reckler from ENT Technologies AG. 
Now make regulations transparent as possible. European Web3 hotspots like Switzerland and Liechtenstein have seen an influx of investments due to their clear regulatory framework. Rather than interpreting the law on a case-by-case basis, U.S. authorities should realize that having a transparent set of rules is the best way to support blockchain innovation while also protecting against bad actors. Now, again, like every single year, like some exchange or somebody is getting fined, like no other, and they're just paying it, but like they are begging for like a clear set of rules. They want to follow it. And we're seeing other countries like, is this it? Switch on the and like they have an influx in it because like they have a set clear guideline. So that's what the U.S. really needs to do. And now also consider the EU's MICA by Oksanda Luzvik, the CEX.io. Uh, despite embracing crypto, the US has yet to arrive at a concrete legal framework that adequately addresses the digital asset class. Regulators could consider the EU's recent Markets in Crypto Act vote, which defined terms and set expectations for traders, companies, and builders operating within its borders until a similar consensus is reach in the u.s participants run the risk of being left in the dark so yeah it's like the same with being like transparent like we just need a concrete legal framework that set in place already it's like come on <laughs> and then ensure new legislation serves society's needs it's by zane jaffer from zane ventures regulation by enforcement rather than legislation is a bad idea law should be in effect to serve society's needs not the other way around if we are simply following the laws that make no sense, those laws should be repelled immediately. Obviously, other countries have made their peace with crypto. It's only the U.S. that has not done that yet. So, come on. <laughs> and also, ensure regulatory bodies don't use, uh, don't issue contradictory guidance. So, yeah, this is from Hugo Lee from Haro Investments. Communication is key. U.S. regulators, including the SEC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the Federal Trade Commission, and the Treasury, Add to the confusion by contradicting one another. The Monetary Authority of Singapore works as a representative communicating with regulators and creating consistency for all. The U.S. must take the time and effort to communicate with all regulators to reduce the chaos and protect investors and the public and nurture the market. So, yeah, don't be fighting with each, <laughs> within each other. It's like uh, there needs to be a consistency and a common eye line with them all because like they set their rules and it contradicts the other guys. So it's like, come on. <laughs> Also, don't be afraid that creating regulations will drive cryptos overseas. From Anthony Gorgidis from Pastel Network, U.S. regulators need to realize that regulations isn't going to drive innovation overseas. It will actually foster techn technological advancements in the space. Projects need clear guidance guidelines by which to abide by. It's a fear of retaliation without prior warning that drives projects away. And finally, just get started now by Megan Evold from BingeX. Uh, the speed of communi communication of its utmost importance, as we have seen, the delay in communication and regulations is hindering many investors from moving forward with blockchain-related business growth and development in the U.S., giving other regions the upper hand. So, yeah. So, again, uh, on all... All of these is just a, we need, we need concrete legal frameworks to be approached. We can't have the internal services like contradicting each other with these rules. And like, we should be all fine, but that's just like, come on, this is how you learn from the other countries out there. So just because the U.S. is last and lagging, they, at least they can learn from other countries' mistakes and push forward with some transparent crypto regulations. And then who knows where the U.S. can come. They can still make, they can still come out of it. But right now with everything going on, it's like they just need to start now. But that is that article for you. If you guys enjoyed it, smash that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.